my name is Central. I kid you not. I'm coming back at you with another reaction video. So let me stop playing around. Um, I'm coming at you today with this video from D.L. Hughley. And uh, it's getting serious because he's talking about uh, we are uncomfortable with racism. Why aren't you? Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. You. So let's uh, get into this video and see what he's talking about. That was a bonfire, you say. So over the weekend, the Navy uh, Army game uh, was an exciting game, as they often are. Uh, one okay. uh, one reporter, uh, he uh, he opined that if you're going to play either one of those two teams, you're in for a rough night. They yeah, play Army disciplined. Navy. They play hard. And, uh, and it's a shame in the that Army, it's, and it's, despite Navy. how exciting the game was, there was something in the stands that really made people even more uncomfortable. <sighs> it was the fact that a bunch of midshipmen and cadets consistently flashed the white supremacy oh, Now, yeah, it's interesting because if you go to social media, well, you'll see any whatever, number of people trying to defend it saying, oh, that means okay. Well, if it meant okay, <laughs> then why were there so many people trying to slap their hands down? Because yeah, it's we not to believe okay. That we're in a post-racial society. We believe that uh, we have evolved and it would be I would be remiss if I, if, if I didn't acknowledge that we have. But racism is not going to die because it's taught to young men like that. And these young men will serve in the military. And these young men will serve in corporate America. And some exactly. of them will go into the police department. It is disturbing because um, they learned it from some of uh, It is disturbing that there down such everywhere. a nexus, uh, seems to be such a nexus between our military, our uh, law enforcement, and white supremacy. Strong They seem to be connection. very comfortable with each other. <laughs> they seem to be very comfortable. <laughs> Uh, you can tell hey, me buddy. right now that hey, that buddy, sign buddy. means okay. Well, maybe at one point it did. Just like the swastika didn't always, it wasn't always a symbol of Nazi. Oppression. Actually, in Japan, point, it's it meant a something symbol of peace. Entirely different. In Asia, it's been but, co-opted and perverted, you know. so now you can't use exactly. it Exactly. I defy you, even if, if, if even if the, the swastika didn't come uh, from what, what the Nazis, uh, they bastardized it, you still couldn't use it no more because it's been so bastardized, no one would even think to explain yeah. it. Or even that touch is a it. symbol of white supremacy. Everybody knows what it is. Yes. And instead of acknowledging oh, it, no. we try to excuse it away. Much like we're going to try to excuse their behavior. Or oh, they were young. But they won't be young. <laughs> but exactly. Don't they take those attitudes They've already been molded. They passed the age of five. whatever so. endeavor they get into. And oftentimes, it will be in a position to do something harmful to people of color. Exactly. Today, uh, on the news, there was breaking news that they found the mass grave of all the people that were murdered in the Tulsa riots. Today, wow. three days ago, we're dealing with young people who are now young, very young people who are showing signs of white supremacy, which, which in essence, caused the, the Tulsa riots. Exactly. The more things change, Strange the truth. more they stay the same. Barren. Now, that same mentality that they were flashing those fingers uh, at that game is that same mentality that got all those people slaughtered in Tulsa, Oklahoma. If we are going to change, we have to say what we see, and what we see is a disturbing trend. Of, of young white uh, young white uh, people going to the military and going to the uh, armed forces and becoming white supremacists and everybody seems to be way too comfortable about it. Right. That comfort gets people killed. It's not, exactly. it's not a coincidence. Can't afford to plan on Saturday we have an incident uh, of white life. supremacy being oh, yeah. nationally shown and like today that. we find the mass grave of people who were killed as a result of white supremacy. I don't think it's a joke. Racism cannot go away if we hide it. It cannot go away if we pretend like it doesn't exist. It can only go away if we acknowledge it. Exactly. What we are Drag is what we that say we are. And those young men had no compunction. So it sounded like it hit like a vampire. It was a nationally televised game. They wanted to see it. We've had incidences of policemen getting on planes and doing the same thing. Incidents of people in the Border Patrol doing the same thing. Systemic. Our question is... I am very uncomfortable with seeing people in uniforms that are supposed to represent our law enforcement How and the military to trust these uh, uh, right? flashing signs that show they have an allegiance to white supremacy. Yeah, trust I am police. uncomfortable with us looking the other way. Trust the sheriff. I think a, great, uh, a lot of trust us are uncomfortable figures. seeing those things. The trust question the ultimately the is, why aren't you? That's a little note from the GED section. We've got the Jazz Report coming up in 15 minutes. Yeah, the the show. Hey, Dio, thank you, brother. I mean, it's a problem. Do your research, bro. I mean, 